Hey guys, my name is Olua from Musayoda, and as always, I'm your host on Fun Excessive Weather. Thank you so much for joining me today on another exciting episode here on Fun Excessive Weather. I had an amazing time with you guys last week, and um, I'm, I really must say a very big thank you for joining me today. So today, I will be coming from the street of Sweet Sour. So, um, just like last two weeks where I read out a tweet from a woman i also saw a story of a woman who said that on our traditional wedding day she didn't kneel down as supposed you know in for Yoruba traditional marriage and a lot of people came at her so um under the comment i thought that she was categorically telling someone i mean someone someone asked her that um you didn't knew and she was like yes she didn't know and she, you shouldn't also leave because you are not his slave so she didn't know because she's not a slave to her husband and then i took time to like read comments and a lot of people came for her i mean a lot of people came ranting saying a lot of things about her and all that so we're talking about that that's like the storyline for today but based on all the comments that i read i will coming from um various angles now i want to start by saying that we are different individuals and we have opinions like my opinion my view your opinion your view is different from my it's real it is and will always be different do you understand so she i mean she said that she and her husband agreed not to include the kneeling down and then raising and the other raising her up as acceptance into his home and so they told the mc they call them alaga iduro so they told the alaga iduro not to include that in the ceremony so that's one i mean it's a personal decision and, and then it wasn't it wasn't like she forced the decision on her husband you know it was like a mutual thing she said she didn't want it she doesn't like it and then the husband agreed <clears throat> and it was so Johnson another point is um, I want to come from the aspect of culture because I, I mean I took time to read out like I said so I'm coming from another aspect which is culture now what is culture culture is a way of people's life culture is what guides culture is that thing that you know that um, that rules yes you know we are from this particular um, place we are from this particular ethnic group what we do is different from what another person from another ethnic group would do. I'm a Yoruba girl and then an Igbo person, an Igbo person's tradition is different from my own tradition. Do you understand? So culture is a way of people's life and then culture differs. But in Yoruba culture, that is what they do. You kneel and then the husband <coughs> raises you up in acceptance to his own. Now, Having said that, having said that, I, I must also add that culture, there's one thing that is peculiar to everybody's culture, and that is um, being subject to change. Culture is subject to change. I mean, there was a culture of killing twins back in the days, I mean, several years ago, and then Mary Slessor came, and then she she um that culture was eradicated do you understand so that particular culture was subject to change under mary Slesla um, um leadership do you understand so some um, culture is subject to change so let's say for example enola her name is enola enola's culture she's a she's a um she's from a yoga family but then she she feels like i mean this culture has to be subject to change under my own opinion other what i i mean other my my self-expression do you get so um i feel like maybe in 10 years from now if people actually like a lot of people went through that comment and for some people that would agree with that they might actually want to go in that same line so some people you go to their weddings and you see that um the old kneeling down and raising the right as as a, as a form of acceptance is no longer there so in 10 years time that might actually be eradicated culture is subject to change do you understand 
now another angle that i'm coming from is the aspect where she said that she's not a slave now i, re I really don't think that that's that um that um manner or that act symbolizes being a slave or being a servant do you get now i i didn't know because but i i got to know the moment i read through reading a lot of people's comments and all that. i i read that the woman kneels down and then the man uses his hand to like raise her in acceptance she understand so that's like okay i'm accepting you so if that um that act is probably erased it might actually not make so much sense it might actually not i mean it might not just make meaning because i'm kneeling down i'm, I'm like kneeling down to say okay yeah i am and then you are like lifting me up to say okay yes i'm accepting you do you understand now she said that she's not a slave to her husband now it doesn't really mean that you're a slave and then everybody came about with the old feminism and all of that now we need to understand that <laughs> i must i mean i must say that a lot of nigerian ladies and even nigerian women fight for um the wrong wrong course and um they disguise under the term of feminism now what if what is feminism we can't i mean go into feminism because it's it's a whole lot so i don't want to divert but like feminism is like fighting women fighting for equity equal rights i mean um as to men do you understand but we, are, we need to understand that the system is patriarchal do you get so when i say that the system is patriarchal i don't i'm also a feminist don't get me wrong but you know people say it's a man's world but then when we talk about feminism it should be more like okay a, a, a male child is going to school a female child should also be allowed to go to school a male um a male person is occupying a particular position a female person should also be allowed to occupy a particular position so it shouldn't be an issue of oh no you cannot occupy that position you cannot go to school you cannot i mean do this you cannot do that because you are a female do you understand i mean i i always say that women are even stronger than men because we have the ability to multitask we can do a lot of things at the same time we have the ability to multitask but you know what you talk about for me it's so i mean it's 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 really wide so and um i, I saw that a, a whole i see that a lot of people are fighting for the wrong cause when you talk about feminism now for some weeks ago one than 12 women were detained for protesting peacefully in a way and on my social media platforms i didn't see any female talk about that of course people i mean people talked about that but it didn't like really it wasn't it wasn't really a movement that people talked about it was actually mostly men that uh, that actually um talked about that incident now um i, I feel like that's where people feminists should channel their energy i mean look at the likes of um mrs opi the woman who led they bring back our girls campaign she did a perfect job that is the definition of a true feminist she fought and she fought well she understands so but i really don't want to like i mean dive into all of that now i also want to come from a religious angle i don't want to sound not to sound like too religious but you know that from the time of creation it has always been the man as the head now the woman is always the body and when we say the body the body and the head function together if i'm if my i'm having headache trust me every part of my body will not be able to function if my leg is paining me to affect my head what am i trying to say every part of the body works together so having a man as the head and you as his helpmate actually it's actually helpmates not slave she understand so i think that i mean people should just be more ori oriented than just fighting for a cause that they really do not really know much about so i saw a lot of comments on um on that post and i thought that i should just share with you guys so like we always do here on thought express what what exactly did you think about it? did you think that oh yes i mean I, just like i said culture is subject to change and then it, it is it is also our own opinion it is it is it is the way she feels this is what she wants and she can do anything she wants to do or you think that um people should i mean if you if you want to remove that you think that i mean it's just best that people don't just do traditional marriage because i was also noticed that when there are rules when there are regulations when there are laws people 
like to pick just a segment, a fraction that just suits them, and then they leave the rest. Do you understand? You're having a traditional marriage, and from the beginning and the end of the traditional marriage, there are so many things you have to do, but then you just want to just pick something from the middle. And they say, oh, I, I, I don't want the beginning, I don't want the end, I just want this part clown. It wouldn't, it's not just best that you just do away with everything. Instead of just trying to like break everything into fraction, do you understand? If you're of that opinion, let me get from you. And if you think that, oh, she's just, she, she just fighting for the wrong cause, people are just, I mean, ranting for the wrong reasons. It's been like that for so long and, you know, you don't see anything wrong in that. Let me hear from me. It is Top Express with Roda and my name is Oluwa Fembusai Roda. Thank you so much, guys, for always tuning in. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your um, comments. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you so much. Till I come your way next week, guys. Be good. Bye, guys.